Welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Voice Cutler. Now, I had wanted to get some testing done today on the Hayes Legion, but like I said this morning, uh, we were downtown a little longer than I thought, had to get the job done, which we didn't, got to finish it in the morning, so wasn't able to get some testing. However, I did want to do a kind of an introduction tonight to the Hayes Legion. Before we do that, 22 veterans a day in this country commit suicide. We're working hard to raise awareness. That's why we had a raffle. That's why we and donated the money to Southeastern Guide Dogs. That's why it's on Instagram. It's on here. We're trying to raise awareness. And vets, <coughs> excuse me, know we love you. You fought for us. Let us fight for you. Please keep, keep hope. Please don't hurt yourself. Reach out to somebody you trust. We back the blue by not breaking the damn law. We support our Leos, our law enforcement officers, especially now in this time and our addicts you know the deal guys it's time to get off that stuff but you're welcome here never quit quitting keep your head in the fight now as we move kind of into the video we're going to start doing things a little different uh, about the same you know scab's still going to talk and ramble and all that but one thing i thought we might do we got our what's in your pockets in the morning fan favorite people all over the world scab are you doing that smart of course i am Look, that people love it. Some will keep doing it. I, I'm actually doing it because people hate it, and I just decided to keep doing it. But it is what it is. I digress. So, instead of having 20, 25 minute videos, as I have want to do with my rambling, I'm going to do an introduction, and then we'll do some cut and test, as only old Scabber can do some cut and test. However, there will be some days we do it together. You say, Scab, that makes no sense. Well, of course it doesn't. You're a choir boy's cutler. If it made sense, you'd be over at a better life channel, but you're not, you're here. So welcome, and thank you to all of my new subscribers, all three of you. Now, what I got today, Tops is one of my all-time favorite brands. I know it's not some of y'all's, you don't have to type it, because I don't give a shit, but it's one of mine. And I'm bringing to you today, the Tops Hazen Legion. This is a knife designed by Mark Hazen, uh, who's been making knives since the 70s. Mark approached Tops, I think, in 2015 about doing a collab for a production run. In 2016, here you go. The Hazen Legion 6.0. This thing is awesome. 1095 steel, carbon steel. I love 1095. In Florida now, we have to maintain it. Let me show you something real quick that Richard gave me. And, of course, I put it as far away from me as I could get it. My guy, Richard... Last Friday night brought me this. Let y'all read the can. Now, he uses this for his guns, and the dude's got a ton of guns. But basically, if you're not going to use a knife for a while or a gun for a while, you spray this fluid film on it, coat it, wipe it down, and it keeps it corrosion free. Uh, my guy spent some time in the teens. He knows what he's talking about, so I'm going to trust that dude, okay? Fluid film. I put it on a bunch of my knives. It works. I love tops, and as much as I love tops with this 1095 steel, I showed y'all um, several videos, probably about 50, 60 videos back. They will rust if you don't watch out. So I coat them down, do all that, and when you get ready to use it, just sharpen the thing up, wipe it off, and you're good. Um, sandblasted finish with Cerakote over it. It. This is a false swedge. Um, normally I would sharpen this up. I'm not. It's a nice swedge. Pretty good for penetrating power. This thing is lean. Overall, this thing's very, very thin. It's got a good blade stock. It's got a good distal taper. So it feels great in the hand. This was made for combat applications. Some of you are beside yourself. Because every night I, I could bring a butter knife. Scab is good for self defense. I had to use one one time. This one is. That's what this one's made for. So the testing may be a little different. It's also built kind of as a as a field knife. But dude, really, there's so many. Tops even has a ton. Uh, Brothers of Bushcraft. So let's just kind of appreciate this for what it is, what it was made for. It's slim. It's very light. Black linen micarta handles. Full tang. Got to have that full tang construction. Now. It's got some good light jimping here on the back. Very, very comfortable. And it's got some up here. See if you see this. 
Now, I actually was talking to the guy from Tops uh, on Instagram a few weeks ago and asked him about some of uh, this kind of stuff. And there's one where they have the little circles where everybody thinks they're bow divots or not. This is jimping. Um, yes, it's in an odd place. But if you really wanted to get that fine work, you could do something like that, you know, boop, boop, just like that. Or if you want to stab somebody, you know, and look good doing it, you could do, you know, something like that, you know. Probably, you know, I, I'm not worried about ever getting videos monetized because I'll be 180 by the time I get to 1,000 subscribers. That's fine. I said all that to say because they're all, if, if you start talking about stabbing people, they get all worked up. Lord, have mercy. I've only stabbed a couple in my life and you'd think I was an axe murderer. Back to the knife. It's got a nice guard here, a little choil. Very light. No choil up here. I mean, you can put your hand there if you want, but you probably won't cut yourself. I mean, do what you, I mean, you do you, kid. You, you guys are the bushcraft experts. Now, again, this knife was specifically made for a tactical purpose. I just read it. Okay? So those who do it's not scam. Well, then everybody on the internet, including the dude who made the damn things wrong, and you're right, there you go. Make a knife. Then you can tell me what it's made for. I don't make knives because I got other stuff to do, like play with this knife. So, we're going to do some different tests tomorrow. Y'all see that? Look at that. Look at them moves right there, son. You can't even look. Like a Ginsu, son. So we're going to do some different tests with This is one of my favorites. Uh, Tops has, dude, they have hundreds of knives. One of the big reasons that I like Tops a lot is, one, they work with a lot of veterans. Y'all know that's big on my heart, even though I've never been in the military. Don't plan to be. I mean, I know by these camo shorts, y'all don't think I was, but I'm not. And I don't pretend to be. Um... They're just, those guys are just, you know, bets just on my heart. You know, when a group gets shit on, then I'm kind of going to go over there and, and try to be their advocate as much as I can. And that 22 a day is a serious deal to me. It's not a joke to me. Now, so that's a big reason I support Tops. The other reason is, if you are a knife designer and Tops makes your knife, if they put one of your knives into a production run, whatever you design, so that's what gets made. They give designers uh, all the autonomy in the world from what I've read and from what I understand, and they make it to that designer specs. Dude, that hat's off to that. You know, now that's not to say they may go, hey, dude. But they probably don't have to because they have world-class designers in there. So what I'm going to do is tomorrow I'm going to do some tests, and I'm going to introduce you at the end of the testing video tomorrow, and that's kind of the way it'll flow so we don't have just you know, a thousand videos. I, I'm getting close to that now and I've been in this thing. I've only done this for four and a half months. Probably got 250, 260 videos. So what I'll do is I'll do my test and then I'll introduce to you another knife uh, tomorrow. It's gonna, again, it's gonna be by Tops. And again, it's another fighter designed for that purpose. We may tweak the test, uh, but I wanna give you a good, good idea of, of kind of what this knife is. It's about, it started off, you know, the MSRP from Tops. When I looked it up before, it was like 210. I think that was a little old, older deal. Now you can get it on uh, any, you know, Blade HQ, uh, Knife Center, Amazon, GP Knives, any of those places you know, for anywhere from about 140 to about 160. It stays right in there pretty consistently. You can get it cheaper. I know that. You also pay more for it. I know that too. Um, but it's a great knife. I love this knife because I love tops. And it's just a cool knife. It, what you'll find with me is I like two different styles of knives. I like the big bangers, okay? The, the D-Bad Preachers, the D-Bad D-Guard that at some point in my life, I pray to the Lord will ever get here. It's been almost eight weeks or five weeks, six weeks. I don't know. It's been a long time, okay? I want my knife. Okay. And I like the more military style. That's just what appeals to me. I love daggers. I love, um, I like the K-Bar. I like the War Machine by D-Bad. Um, I can't wait to do the Donnie B all day, throw this into a stump test. It's very well balanced, very lean, very light. Last thing, and I'm going to let y'all go because I got to eat some supper. I don't need to, but I kind of want to. 
<clears throat> is the sheath. A lot of times I get kind of worked up on top sheaths. I, I hate them nylon things, but this ain't one of them. This is a good sheath. It's Kydex. That's the clip. No rattle. That's this pin right here. Other than that, it's no rattle. And you know what? I don't give a damn. I'm 320 pounds. I'm not ninja up on somebody. Now, what I love about this sheath is this. All right. I don't know. See the clip here? That thing goes 360, dude. Now, this is molded Kydex. This is, this is one of the few knives that you'll ever hear me say that I may wear, I may take um, as some sort of protection or, you know, with the intent of, of needing it for like if I'm downtown late or, or something like that or working by myself in a bad area and I carry it scout carry just kind of I always kind of carry it you know on my left side kind of scout that way if I ever needed to I could jerk it quickly and go to work but I love the knife I love the setup so the tops Hazen Legion H-A-Z-E-N by Mark Hazen 6.0 I cannot wait to do some tests on this guy and guys, I love y'all. God bless y'all. I'll see y'all in about 10, 12 hours for you know what? Let me hear you say it. What's in your pocket? Love y'all. I'm Scab. You're not. I'm going.